Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can add a sub-site in Office 365 if you already have an existing site. So the first thing you need to do is go into the site that you want to add the sub-site to. So I've created this demo, Office 365 demo, that's the site that I'm going to add the sub-site in. And you'll see I haven't done anything to it, I made it a couple of minutes ago, it is just a fresh new site. To add a sub-site to this we need to go to the left hand side and click Site Contents and that's going to load up all the things that are currently installed on this site. You'll see down the bottom it says Subsites, and at the moment there's none there. We're going to click on New Subsite. The reasons you might want to do this um, in a school, for example, if you've got a site per teacher, you might want a teacher to have a subsite for each of their classes, or if you've got a site per class, I might be running a project and want to do a subsite for that project. So that's the example I'm going to use, and I'm going to be doing a project soon called Rivers. So I'm going to create a subsite called Rivers in my class site. I'm also going to call it Rivers here. This is brilliant because I can now give the students this domain name and they can type this into their web browser and they'll go directly to this rather than have to navigate to the subsite. So that's a link you might want to copy down. The next section to do with the templates, we'll leave it on team site because it, it does everything we need it to do. You can have a play around with this, you might find one more useful than the other, but realistically team site is absolutely fine in terms of the template. Next option down. Uh, user permissions. Again, you probably want to leave that alone. You can have a play with giving unique permissions, but unless you specifically want someone to be able to do more than someone else on this, you're probably going to keep that the same. Navigations is the one thing you might want to change. Uh, the top one, display this site on the quick launch, that's if you want it to appear on the left hand side. So if you, we want our sub site to come up on the left hand side of the site, we click that to yes. So I'm going to do that. And the second option down, do we want it in the top link bar? That's if we want it to come along on the top. I'm going to leave that on as well, just so when I create this site now, you can see what both of those are as examples. And we click create down the bottom, and within a couple of seconds, it's created the subsite for us in our site. And you see it's taken me straight to it. If I go back now to my main site, um, which was the Office 365 demo site that I showed you earlier, you'll now see that along the top, I've got a rivers option, which is that subsite, and on the left hand side under subsites, I've also got a rivers option. And clicking on either of those two will take us straight into that subsite where the students can use a sort of fresh site for a project or an individual class. And that is how we create a subsite in Office 365. 